the fastest you've ever gone? 380 kilometers an hour. Holy hell! Yeah, in Mexico. Oh, High up, so yeah. That's two of nowhere. This is for the situation that we have a full capsize. For the rig, up and clear. What is the fastest you've ever gone? <laughs> He's like, I know what you're doing. The foils, that's cavitating. Like vibrating? Yeah, vibrating because the water is boiling around the foils. And because of the water pressure gets so high. It starts actually boiling. Yeah, yeah. the water is boiling around the foils. Yeah. Right. yeah, then we have one of our Danish. Sailors with us, Kevin, also a Formula One driver, but also a likes of sales. He's joining us today for a bit of a cruise and see how he how he's doing the F50 compared to the F1 car. Pretty exciting, you know. Uh, we were doing 75 kilometers an hour. I think like, the fastest I've ever gone in a sailboat is maybe, I don't know, 30. I think the top speed in this is 100 kilometers an hour, but when we were doing 75, you know, it's so little, almost like a, a car, you know, it just reacts immediately. Um, it's incredible to see these guys, you know, working together. I can listen into their communication and it's, you know, so so clear. It's a lot of communication in a Formula 1 team across the team in a race but here you know it, it's got to be the reaction from the whole team has got to be so quick you know in a Formula 1 race I think you of course have to react quickly too but it's not as quickly you need I think. As a driver of course you need reactions but I don't need to talk to anyone to react I can just go for it you know I think it's, it's more pressure on to communicate clear this is so this is so cool I mean these guys are incredible at what they do and you're seeing the whole operation behind it it's um, it's really incredible and you know they're so good at what they're doing <laughs> 